all the problems race has caused. Our differences are literally not more than skin deep. Genetically speaking, race does not exist. Without those minuscule genetic changes though, people might never have survived in these northern latitudes. And that means we might never have carried on to populate the rest of the world. Around 35,000 years ago, an ice age induced dry spell caused the Central Asian grasslands to radiate outwards. People tracked animals deeper into the ancient steppe lands and expanded further and further from their base. Some people would turn right towards East Asia and the Americas. And some, like Dave Reed's ancestors, would turn left and take the M173 towards Europe. Leaving us with one obvious question. If Dave's markers trace back to this early European trek, why doesn't he look European? As far as he knows, Dave is African-American through and through. When he gets his results, he'll learn that his Y chromosome, at least, isn't. Somewhere down the line, likely during slavery, one of his great-great-greats was a European who fathered children with a woman of African descent. It turns out this blurring of bloodlines wasn't uncommon. About 35% of African-American men carry similar European lineages. That European Y chromosome, in fact, makes up just a tiny fraction of Dave's ancestry, which we can see by tracing it back to its source. Oh, my God.